accumulated because it's a lichen. That plant is a phosphate. Phosphate is an immobile element in the soil. It doesn't, a lot of other elements become part of the water and move around, and they hit the roots. Phosphate is stuck where it is. Roots have to get to it. It's often very deep. So if you don't, if the roots can't get deep, they won't get to that nice phosphate, which is important for fruit and, and the flower development. But this is high in phosphate, because these roots do go break down into the deep layers. You can't get rid of that. This is a problem. You're kind of out of luck, because it'll just keep going. But it pulls up the phosphate from deep below and puts it in the leaf. So if I crush this leaf up, get a handful of that, which we already don't have to worry about that. We won't continue with the next one. We'll do it over there. We're going to take that out. We're going to break this apart into small bits. That can go into the soil directly and add phosphate right into the root zone where we want, because the plant has sucked that phosphate up. This leaf also crushed similar to the neem, will add, make a very powerful insect repellent. So while it's an invasive and a problem, it can be used to, um, for all its problem features, thorniness, and you can't get rid of it, well, that's nice fencing. It's thorny and you can't get rid of it. Um, and this phosphate is wonderful soil additive to the surface. Taking advantage of those nice things. All right? So just imagine that time you want. If you were going to make an insect repellent spray on your plants, mm -hmm. would you steep it? And yes, then... make like a tea. Okay. Take a good couple of handfuls of that, crush those roots as much as possible, soak them in a, a two liters of water in a pail, cover it for about a week, for once a day. Very simple. Strain off, strain off the leaf, put in a spray bottle. Okay. Very simple way of uh, the third level of insect control. First thing you do is improve the soil quality. Second is the water quality. Third is the talent. Step 18 is go to Agway and say, what chemical do <laughs> If you need to get there. If, you, if you've gone through the first 17 steps of integrated pest management, and number 18, and you're still being hammered economically, and, uh, then you go to the chemical dealer and say, how do I kill this? If it makes an economic justification. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're st also standing on this nice, lush, green, uh, it wouldn't be nice if you're on. This would make beautiful copper if you mow this and turn that into a little brown leaves. It makes the most incredible copper. But odds are you're not going to be in a place that has a lawn. However, if you are, like at some municipal office, has a lawn, and you're mowing the grass, know that that's a very high nitrogen material. Mix, blend that with a lot, twice again as much. Shuck crushed brown leaves, add some water. That's a okay. But don't rely on green leaves as your source. But you do have to see that. Boy, this is oftentimes a waste of resource, this grass. Anything we can do, add organic material back into these sandy soils. And they form a manure, a compost, a source of wood and actual leaves. All of that combined makes that improved soil health and allows that plant to be resilient to the back. The flooding and the ground that is going to go Because it's going to be like planting in a sponge. It's not going to be flooded and drought. It's going to be an even distribution of water through the growing season because you're not just planting a bean in sand. You're planting a bean in sandy, lonely, rich soil in a small area close to you. Okay, so in our little turn, oh, we're going to finish up back where we started, right? So we're going to go ahead and put it.